What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am giving you my WWE Clash at the Castle Scotland 2024 predictions video. Clash at the Castle takes place in Glasgow this Saturday, June 15th. I'm going to try and watch it live. However, I am actually wrestling on a show that day. So depending on timings, we'll determine whether I watch it live or not. As always, guys, this prediction video is coming to you after the go-home Raw, but before the go-home Smackdown. So if any matches are added throughout, I will add them in the description and the comment section down below alongside my predictions. Without further ado, guys, let's get right in to match number one. A triple threat match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship kicks off the show as Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair defend their Women's Tag Team Championships against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. And the hometown heroes, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, both Scottish-born ladies, hopefully get a big pop from the crowd. But unfortunately, I don't see them picking up the hometown victory. Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill to retain the women's tag titles. Sami Zayn will once again defend the Intercontinental Championship against Chad Gable. This feud has been running on a little while now, and I think it's finally time to pull the trigger. I said it was going to happen at Crown Jewel. It didn't, but I'm predicting it here. Chad Gable to beat Sami Zayn and win the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It is more than deserved. It is more than earned. Put the belt on Gable. Ready, willing, Gable. The WWE Women's Championship is on the line as Bailey defends against yet another hometown hero, Piper Niven. We'll be taking on Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. I don't think Piper's going to be winning either, unfortunately. Bailey seems to have been set up to have a feud with Nia Jax, who recently won the Queen of the Ring tournament. I think that's the match we're getting at SummerSlam. Therefore, I don't actually think that Piper's going to win the belt here. Maybe she'll get close, maybe a few near falls, but Bailey's going to walk out of Scotland with the championship. Cody Rhodes defending the undisputed WWE Championship against the phenomenal AJ Styles once again, running it back from France, but this time in an I quit match. Now, we saw AJ fake retire, pull a Mark Henry the other week on SmackDown, basically setting this match up. Now we've got an I quit match. And a lot of people are, you know, speculating online what the stipulation for this actually means. I know Michael Cole said on Raw that you have to incapacitate your opponent for a ref count or something like that. I think he personally just got muddled up. The stipulation for an I quit match is you have to make your opponent say I quit in order to win. That's the stipulation. Fairly certain that's what it's going to be. And with that being said... Cody Rhodes, the biggest babyface in the business, the man that literally never gives up like John Cena. Do you honestly think he's going to say I quit? Absolutely not. Cody Rhodes to retain the undisputed WWE title. And finally, that brings us to what should be the main event of the evening. Damian Priest defending the World Heavyweight Championship against the man he cashed in on at WrestleMania. Air Scotland's own Drew McIntyre. Finally, let's have Drew right the wrong from the last clash at the castle. Let's have Drew win the world championship in his home country, literally in Scotland. It's not in Wales this time. It's not in England. It's in Scotland. He is home. Pull the trigger, WWE. Have Drew McIntyre win. And as much as I love him, please, God, do not have CM Punk interfere in this match and cost Drew the title. It does not need to happen. Priest has had a nice little run since WrestleMania. He's had a few good defences against Jey Uso, Rey Mysterio. He's proven that he can hang at this position on the card. But right now, I believe that Drew McIntyre should be the one to dethrone him, win the championship, and then you could have Drew and CM Punk setting up for SummerSlam in a World Heavyweight title there. That's what I would do. That's what I think WWE should do. Let's have a nice moment. No cash-ins, no shenanigans. Judgment Day are barred from ringside. Have Drew McIntyre win the World Heavyweight Championship in Scotland. Make it happen, WWE. But there you go, guys. That was my WWE Clash at the Castle 2024 Scotland 
predictions video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Tops Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Remember, because Clash at the Castle is in Scotland, it will be starting at an earlier time. Basically, that means... You know, if I don't get home from my show quick enough, there isn't going to be any live reactions. But I promise I will try and make it happen once again. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you at Clash at the Castle. Goodbye.